in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. We want to thank God for this opportunity for all of us. We thank God for the visionary. So we are here to obey what the Spirit of God wants. So thank you very much. And so forth. So I have 15 minutes or less. Many of us, if not all of us, are children of God. We already know the scriptures, so I won't read, but I will just quote. But we've got a lot of things to do. Uh, my task is to explain why we should pray and begin to pray for our country and pray for our mother continent because we love we love Africa because we are Africans we love South Africa and we love the entire continent anything wrong happens anywhere in the continent so therefore it's important to pray for our country, and in particular, also the Tandazele entire continent. I have read an article, Mama Scientist was say overseas, but they are very surprised and very worried. To go to COVID-19, I bang an impact in cool as they expected in Africa. Then I asked myself, what did they expect? So, we are not on our own, God is with us. But I want to show something here. I, I would have wished if our local leaders, we tried to get hold of them. I would have loved Uguti, people like our counselors should be here. Uh, and other community structures. Not good about they know. It's just that one man abanda baga understand the importance of prayer. I want to show you this canon be standards. Eh, you know, guna leto kwa. We know about sin. It's all no. You know, there's a personal sin. But there's also a national sin. But there's also a provincial sin. Utwana gute khauteng. Gune sono es dominatayo es ngeko e northwest. Besu gube ne what based sin. Besukube ne sin of individual church. Besukube ne sin somundo. I want to show you something here. As the shepherd of a particular church, you find what is son as konebanzen engil pete asi ko is leso son o weli nyibanza angas nangizwa. In other words, as the sea things are spiritual, do you hear what I'm saying? Our country has been forgiven. Now we're going to pray for the continent in Jesus' name. But this is Salapans. It's all right. You can sit down. Are we ready for prayer? Let us pray for the entire continent. It sounded like the pants are cool. Are you ready? One, two. Let's move around. Let's move around. Let us pray. We came for intercession. Move around and pray. Move around and pray. Move around and pray. We pray for South Africa. Baba we to na man sa eka meni liga chesu na i continent trosbege guyo i continent se Africa from Cape to Cairo eka meni liga chesu eka meni li na man sa si kulegela baba the entire continent. 
every country, every region. Foundations of the earth. The Lord trusted the blood of Jesus. He is the Lamb of God that was slain. So we're going to call upon the blood of Jesus from the foundations of the earth to saturate South Africa, Africa, Eguruleni, Binoni, Davidin. Shall we all pray? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon the blood of Jesus to arise and saturate, saturate Africa, saturate South Africa, saturate Gauteng, Mpumalanga, Limpopo, Northwest, Cape, North... Western Cape, Eastern Cape, Northern Cape, in the name of Jesus. Kwasulu Natal, take over, Spirit of the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak greater things for South Africa. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak greater things for Africa. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak greater things for Eguruleni. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak greater things for David Ten in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak for Sia Kotama Sia Kotama Sia Kotama Sia Kotama Sia Kotama Sia So now, as we all hear, as we're about to pray, I'm not going to waste any of your time, as we're about to pray, um, Sister Shelley said this, that's what I do, that's what I've been taught. You cannot pray and stand in one position. When your enemy declares war, 
If it means surrounding your house, they do it. If you're going to waste your time, I'm and say, you know what, I'm going to go to my So be it. But when the enemy comes and fights you through certain things, because for the mere fact that you have to Already there's a war for yourself. What's when I for it, David? And I'd like, like to recommend Babun Koma Uti. Even if you don't continue running with it, but may someone carry on with it because you have raised. It was a prophetic. Um, yes, Leyenzo Mfundi Sufenya. That was super prophetic, Baba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So if you're not going to run with it, Kubegeling Pambili. Don't let this fade. We need our parents to stand with us from different angles, from different spheres, and pray for E. Davidson and to pray for other nations as well. So I want us to pray. I'm going to ask you very nicely to pray for alignment as young people and you as your, our parents. As we about to pray, we, we want to pray for alignment because this. Therefore, I beseech you, Nianinenga Bazalwan, with the mercy of God, to offer yourself as a living sacrifice, holy, pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Now, in heaven, there is worship. If there is thing that need to be done on earth, um, it's to worship God. That is the will of God. Now. For us to worship God, we need first, we need first to offer us our bodies as a living sacrifice. Have you offered yourself as a living uh, sacrifice? That is a question. For many years, I have been training for you. You just offer yourself as a, a living sacrifice. Now, that is part one. I call it part one because you need, for us to do the will of God, we need to offer ourselves to God as a living sacrifice, not as a dead. You know, people, when they're facing death, Bafuna Bafundi is all, most of the time, good Bafige. Best about Baba, send your Fige in the way, send your Fige in the way, send your Fige in the way, send your Fige while we are facing death. So, while we are on earth. While we are on earth doing the will of God, that is where we start praying. Hallelujah. That is where to do the will of God. Now, the part two says, do not conform any longer to the patterns of, of, of the world, but transformed by the renewal of the mind, then you will be able to test and approve the will of God. The will of God is transformation. For us to be transformed, we need first to do the part one, to offer ourselves as a, a, a living sacrifice. Once our mind be renewed, we will be doing what? The will of God. Now, that is where the heaven meets the earth. Because today, we want to call, we want to call the heaven, the kingdom of God, to come and meet the earth. As we are seeing uh, on the earth, we'll be seeing what is heaven in the spiritual realm. Living, hallelujah. We are going to pray. All of us are going to stand and declare and decree the will of God to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us try our, uh, to live the will of God in our in ourselves first 
so that he is of Melanga Pant, the Bonara, the Utumusa, Ulukona, the will of God, the corner, and Shaya is Kati Bazalan, MC Masaganyo, Anyo Belangim, which put away and push and push the scatting. Now, in closing, we are here to make the tree. And I believe that the tree that we are making today is the tree that will bear the fruit. Nangiza Bazalan, we are here to plant the tree and make the tree, the tree that we are planting today and we are making, will bear the fruits. And the fruits will be the fruit of God. Amen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Thank you for this opportunity, Ngegumkoma, for asking me and Naniti to come before the people and speak. Hallelujah. You gave me a theme. Sikulumang among sickness and diseases, we speak about healing. We only know, we know that healing comes from God. And so, sizokulega sikulegele, healing from the sickness and diseases. I, I did not specifically say uh, COVID-19 because it's one of the sicknesses of But there are other sicknesses as Abanyebe to sila. And therefore, we like to ask Unkulunkulu Gutibesubaganyanat. Abanyebetu, I'm a family Zue Tayakula. We are not well. Yes, manga says if. Now, I read a couple of uh, interpretations, normal Bible versions. La Ezo Kuluma about this verse, Isaiah. Magazoti, but he was wounded on our account of our sins and he was bruised because of our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him by his bruises we were healed now only Brenton Septuagint uh, translation HAPS Takana 1917 uh, by his stripes we were healed the other versions, Zonke Mangis Funda, NKJV, NIV, Zizok Chela Uguti, by his stripes we are healed. Maukapela Ipai Beliga, Zizok Chela Guti, we are healed. It means it's a continuous um, cycle. 
ukuthi thina sibe seyaphiliswa ngemivimbo yakhe only two translations that gave me but the focus scripture entema ngizivule namhlanje because of time i wanted us to go to john now there is in jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in hebrew bethsaida having five porches in these five porches everyone obeka nesifo obeka hleli neskim sakhe laba bagula ngente efanayo that is why the bible will only name this man as a certain man maqeda bese izomnikeza condition ukuthi was paralyzed ingamnikeza igama lakhe akasana gama but sekabizwa ngokuthi was a paralyzed man maqeda ibhayibheli bese izomnikeza the number of years agule ngazo ithi for 38 years he lay agula in the porch now that tells me ukuthi kulenda we sikuye Jerusalem bese ngeke isibhedlela kodwa bekhona abantu abagulayo by they were seated by the pool side and so today as we are going to be praying for the sickness and diseases abantu abasagulele ibhedlela bagulele emakhaya because hospitals are overwhelmed kodwa nasekhaya into engifuna ukujela yona ukuthi uNkulunkulu khona because the presence of god aina la ingekho khona ikhona each and everywhere and so these people were laying uh, prostrate in the city gate bahlezi by the pool side the, the the verse says then the man oh, who was sick for 38 years it is bible then jesus saw him kubo bonke abantu abakhona wherever you are walking i pray that jesus may see you because you are having different challenges singabantu sengathi ujesu angabona wena yebo sibaningi siyagula yebo sibaningi sihlezi nezinto ezihlukahlukene that's a challenging our life sibaninga sebenzi kodwa sengathi ujesu angabona wena ithi incwadi ye bible wathi makabone yena umuntu esimazi ukuthi he is an answer ithi bible wabuza i question how can an answer ask a question because Jesus is the answer I agree but he was asking this man a question and said do you want to get well sometimes it's not sukela abantu sithi bayagula sibakhulekise sometimes it's not sukela abantu sithi banezinto kanti umuntu is comfortable in their messed up situation so we need to ask you ukuthi ngempela uyafuna na ukuthi uphiliswe amhlambe you are okay with being sick with cancer you are okay with being sick with hiv when we want to minister health into your life kanti wena you want to stay ugula ngaleyo ndlela so jesus shine in your corner make a declaration in the spirit look joshua was leading israel and he rounded the city with them but he took the troop with a sound to bring down the walls of jericho it was in the leader who brought down the walls it was us who brought down so shall we call for that sound one more time with instrument this time
Genga yes kati siya kichi mangi bingelele zongi shales kona gulenda o in Jesus mighty name Amen. Uh, I would like to quote two scriptures from the book of Matthew chapter twenty eight verse eighteen. Ujesu uti all authority has been given unto me Hallelujah. So now go and make people my followers. Amen. Then when you also read Acts chapter one verse eight. Let us when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you shall receive power. And you shall go all to Judea, to Samaria, to Jerusalem, and be my witnesses. Yeah. Hallelujah. Nisese kona emkuleweni. Nikona gule nkonzo namshanje. Hallelujah. Namshanje sipigeni nengi namba eyi gender-based violence. Hallelujah. Um the government say kulumile about this issue the social workers have said something about this issue and now the challenge is that what does the church have to say about this hallelujah sibona ibandla lithulile unkulunkulu kukhona into entshafuna ukuyenza ebandleni sijwayela ukuhamba ngokujwayela sihambe ngendlela esihamba ngayo kodwa kule inkathi esiphila kuzo unkulunkulu ukukhona into afuna ukuyenza ngebandla lakhe lela afuna ukulakha yena ngokwakhe ngezakhi izandla hallelujah are we available as the church today to go and be witnesses hallelujah can i see the hands of those who are saying we are going to deal with ourselves and go out there we shall go to basuthung we shall go to emashanganeni and be the witnesses of Jesus Christ. Isikati sipeli le batandigayo. Amen. Sipeli liskati inda viselen ambi na uguti. What are we going to do now that the time is over? We are least we are living in the last of the last days, and the church seems so relaxed. The church seems so comfortable. Hallelujah. We are not doing what we were mandated to do. Jesus commissioned us to go out and preach the gospel as believers. Are we doing what Jesus has called us to do? Or we are just comfortable where we are and we don't care anymore. We don't we are not even discerning the times. Hallelujah. Today I want us to pray. Our prayer should be that Lord begin to deal with us. We repent just the women of South Africa. We come to you, Jehovah, for every abusive word and abusive action we have done to our sons, we have done to our daughters. My father, we pray that may you forgive us. My father, for failing to protect the men's feet. My father, we pray that may you forgive us. Forgive us, my father, instead of building them, we have destroyed them. Instead of building them, we have destroyed them. But we come, my father, we come in repentance and in humility. Forgive us as the women of South Africa. Forgive us in every continent of the world. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into your throne this afternoon humbling ourselves to declare your kingdom. Lord, we come If as the man can, join him in kneeling down if it's okay. as people who have messed up your community. We come as reckless people. Lord, we pray and we ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus, we are saying, Father, we have used your children as safe slaves. We have used your children as money-making. We have used your children as an object to be abused. We ask for your mercy so that my God you have to create a new heart in us and a new mind in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we pray, Hold on. listen, listen. It's called benediction. What I'm about to do is closing. So I want you to close with me with authority.
makama. Eni wa pesa wonta makama. Eni wa Jesus pe. Nyange zoi. Mshabe. Ako na ma ye gota. Eni wa Jesus pe su. Mfuluk tansa no mundo ti ma ye bulo chandas. Si vala galenke. Uyange zomo sa. Nam tando chigela. church and two to pray as pastors but I want to say that pastors are called banobizo bafundis banelungelo lokwenziza into zenzeke so sizokhuleka singabafundis sikhuleke ukuthi izinto zenzeke ko wonke lo mthandazo siyagcizelela sithi uma kube njalo njengabafundis Number two, as the church, the church is the called out ones, the ecclesia. Those ones have got a mark of the Lord Himself. Good boy. Baketi we. Oguti benzi zinde zweni. Israeli na konukzenza. If you hear me, shout hallelujah. Pele naunga iswanga le juma lo se peli. Turn in amen. Let me say 1 Corinthians, I mean 2 Corinthians chapter number 13, verse number 14. I'm getting 30 benediction. Uma uifunda iti. Mfunu kuibega nge King James. Hallelujah. Ibali zinde zinda atuwe mfunu kuti na uye kaya unga skoha. Uma ngabe si pente i picture na uhambe na le piki rizame zitatu. Unege lezi itombe kate si zenzala. Kule piki rizitatu. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say grace. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. When this man was writing a letter and closing it to the church in Corinth, he closes it with a benediction. He says, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say grace. Some, when they define grace, they say it is the unmerited favor of the Lord. But I want to, I want to differ a bit and say grace is the ability that comes from God. And it enables you to do that which you were not able to do before. So grace is the enablement of God. It enables you to do that which you were not able to do. The church, the pastors are graced today to say things about Corona. To say things about the last days. And those things will come to pass. Somebody shout grace. 
If I may, benze para nje nkale la kukre iskuti, tinasipiwe umusa. Tinasipiwe lomusa. Si hamba nga lomusa. Utabanye na bangene ito enti nasinga ngeene. Shout grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the unconditional love of God that is able to touch in daughter, say, oh, daughter, besiamu washa kasindiga cheso, imbu selenda wen. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. It is only pastors. It is. My name is Shirley Madonzela. Um, what an incredible day we had today. We saw God, Davidson gathered and we prayed, we sought at the face of God. Nothing beats prayer and we've seen the power of God. The, the day was a success. We can't ask for more right now. We are content and we're grateful. Hi guys, I am SK Kabini. I am here at Park and Praise in Davidson. The event was impactful. The Spirit of the Lord was here. If you missed it, catch the second one. Hi, my name is Kwatu Marumu and I am from East Bell Springs. We had a lot of fun in the presence of the Lord. We sang, we worshipped and we also prayed for our families, we prayed for our country, we prayed for ourselves, our salvation, our brothers and sisters that are going through tough times and we basically had a, like, a good time in the presence of the Lord. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Indeed, we had a great time. My name is Seth Kumon. We're from uh, Captain Park. We came here for prayer and then we thank God so much for He has transformed our life through prayer and intercession. And then we we understand that like in an after pain like this, our lives will never be the same again. South Africa will never be the same again. Africa will never be the same again. There will be changes and transformation. Thank you. Greetings, my name is Palisa Mariane. Uh, the event was very spiritual feeling and like Nje, I'm uplifted spiritually. Thank you so much for this wonderful event. Hello everybody, my name is Ukiswa Gasola. I am here to pack and play. It is awesome. The spirit of the Lord is in this place. Ooh. <laughs> 